I'm of kind of two minds with it. I, I really support infill housing. I think that we need to um, develop and get more people and more density into our older neighborhoods and, and stop sprawling out to the sort of edges of the city. Um, at the same time, I'm afraid, especially in a neighborhood like Ritchie, where um, five years ago when I moved in, um, it was a place that younger families or, or families with lower incomes could still afford a home. So one of the things I'm concerned about is as more of these kind of post-war houses are coming down in these older neighborhoods and bigger, newer houses are going up, that potentially people like me who five years ago could afford to live in the core are kind of being priced out of it. I really do think it's important that Edmonton starts increasing its density and I know there's been a lot of really great advances in terms of thinking about putting people near transit and, and getting Edmonton weaned off of, of the private automobile as, as the only way that people get around. This neighborhood is, is post-war, so we've got a, a lot of really nice little bungalows. Um, and some of the infill housing that's come in into this neighborhood, in my opinion, has been not entirely um, suited to the neighborhood. It's people come in and, and put in houses that don't really look like the rest of the neighborhood, that really stand out like a sore thumb. I kind of like the fact that we're seeing duplexes and fourplexes and, and other sort of structures that um, can support a bit more density. I'd rather see that coming into the old old neighborhoods than like really huge houses for like, you know, two people kind of thing. I just really enjoy living in a diverse neighborhood, so I want to make sure that everybody, you know, that, that there's a mix of people, that it's not just one socioeconomic class that's living in neighborhoods like Ritchie 10 years from now.